Watch this video to find out what is our next challenge out of our Christmas Couple Challenge series. Hi, my name is Dana and I own a platform called Better Topics where we regularly help hundreds of couples experience more love, joy and connection and also have a lot of fun. Today's challenge is a challenge that I again enjoyed quite a lot to be honest. It's very tasty, nice and you end up spending time with your partner. So the challenge is fondue night and a movie. Now the fondue type I've chose for today's challenge is a cheese fondue, therefore a savory version. But you of course if you want and you have more of a sweet tooth you can also opt for a chocolate fondue and some fruits maybe or stuff to dip into hot chocolate. But today we opted for cheese fondue and for some savory treats to dip them into the cheese. And I just went ahead and prepared a very quick and easy vegan cheese fondue. If you want the full recipe for this with the exact measurements and ingredients I have used, you can find it in the description box below. One tip I have for you guys is to make it really really nice and smooth with the blender and that will end up making your cheese as well at the end very nice and smooth. As I said before, we have opted for a savory fondue night and hence I'm making the cheese. If you want to make a chocolate one, you can just melt some chocolate. If you don't have a special fondue pot, that is okay. You can melt the chocolate in the microwave for like a couple of minutes, stir it up and then melt it again. If it hardens after a certain point, you can also melt it back again. So once I've put all my ingredients in a blender, I whisk them all up until they were really nice and smooth and then I brought them to a boil. Once you put it on a fire, it goes fairly quick to be honest. This started thickening in about 5 minutes, therefore it went really really fast, which I loved. It's one of the quickest cheese recipes that I found online so far. As you can see, it looks a bit crumbly in the beginning, but that's okay because as it starts thickening more and more, it will get really nice and smooth. I did end up adding a bit of water onto it because I felt it was a bit too thick for my liking and even if it looks like it's ruined it's not because once you stir it properly it will get like nice smooth and creamy as a proper cheese fondue should look like. And it's done! I've put it in a deep bowl just to make sure that we can both reach it and it's easy to just dip things into it. And we are ready to go to the second part, which is the things that we dip. I've just used some cauliflower bites and vegan nuggets. I've put them in the oven and after that I've decided to put in some potatoes as well. So I've decided to peel a couple of potatoes and cube them, season them and put them in the oven as well for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now obviously you can do this before you do the cheese, so whilst you're doing the cheese the things in the oven get cooked as well, but I wasn't sure what I'm going to use, hence I made the cheese first and then I thought about the toppings. Once the potatoes were cubed and washed, I've put some Italian seasoning on them, give them a toss and then just straight onto a pan and into the oven. They don't need a lot of things because the cheese anyway it's quite flavorful so you don't really need to top that with too much additional flavoring on the potatoes. But we still ate them so we cannot really complain about that. One thing that I didn't really like about the potatoes is that when I took them out they were really nice and crunchy but then as they sat and they uh, got a bit colder they did get softer as well. And these are the potatoes. They were very nice and crunchy and the nuggets as well and the cauliflower bites were ready in time as well. I've cut all of these into bite-sized pieces to make it easier for both me and Robert to dip it into the cheese fondue and just eat it straight away. Obviously you can cut these as big or as small as you like. 
I've just cut them into let's say bite-sized pieces more or less and whilst I was cutting up these and just preparing the last bits for our fondue night Robert was searching for a Christmas movie now we really love watching Christmas movies mainly because they leave you with a good feeling at the end of them there isn't too much drama or too much action in them or too many negative things happening Since we started with these couple challenges, Robert is also very excited for each challenge that we are doing together. Mainly because we get to spend time together and there is something new waiting for us every night. And we have set up our coffee table in the living room and we were ready to watch our Christmas movie. And as you can see here, we were sharing the bowl and just, you know, went ahead, dipped everything, covered it smothered it in cheese and just ate it basically it is very easy very tasty and fun fun way to spend your night with your partner again considering it's winter outside quite cold and not many places to go to i think these challenges give us something to look forward to every day Although I say this many times that if you want to work on your relationship and to grow your relationship it is always better to do something together with your partner and focus on each other meaning without any movies, TV and other distractions. But sometimes a quiet cozy night in only with your partner is the perfect prescription for a cold wintry night. Let me know in the comments below how did you find this challenge. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and share it with your friends.